Hello everyone, welcome back with the another video on React Native mobile app development. So in this video, we are going to learn more about the push notifications. So in my previous video, I explained how you can implement push notification and uh, how you can set up your Firebase in your React Native application. So the links are in the description below. So please check out those videos. So today I'm explaining that uh, how you can manage your notification. Okay, so let's uh, start the video. Okay, so the first condition in, in push notification is when your app is open. Okay, so when your app is open and you receive a notification so the notification will come in this uh, in this function so this function is a messaging on message function so whenever your application is open you will receive this inside this you will receive your notification inside this function so let me send a notification as you can see the success is one and in the console you can see fcm message arrived when app is open okay so this is the first condition so if i close the app like this not cancel it or not uh, remove it just close the app or if I am on another app and my app is closed so I will receive the notification inside set background messages handler let me show you how let me send a notification okay as you can see I will receive a notification on my uh, toolbar like this and also I can receive notification inside my console like message handled in the background which is coming from my this code set background messaging hand okay so when you uh, click on the notification and your app will be open so this function will fall in this this callback which is on notification open app as you can see in my console that you can see app open by clicking notification and you can read the notification so one of the questions that I received yesterday uh, on my channel is that if my app is open so how can I show the notification because if you notice that in uh, when our app is open we do not uh, the notification will not come on the taskbar okay so how we can do this so so to do this task uh, this is the official notification uh, uh, this is the official firebase documentation I will give this link also in the description and if we go in the notification section uh, as you can see they are, they are referring to us to like uh, to a library called notify so we will use notify for that okay so to display our local notifications so if I click on this I will be uh, come to this website and in this website first of all you have to do the installation so the installation is simple you can run npm install or you can also run the yarn add so i'm running the yarn add so let's first close this terminal and run this command inside my vs code terminal okay so my uh, the library is installing okay so we have to do one step in the manifest file is to add a permission of the 
post notification copy it paste over here now save it and uh, the one more step that you have to do is to you have to go in your app build.credit file and make sure your compile sdk version and target sdk version is 33 33 then you your build will run smoothly okay so these are the two steps that you have to do and then you can run your app so let's head over to the uh, basic usage so if i come to the basic usage then i can see that uh, basic usage okay okay come to the display our notification in this section so we have to copy paste this uh, function copy it and paste it inside your javascript file like this okay so let me import notify so import it and put it over here now let's just save it so okay everything is cool so if my app is open then i will call this function to create a local notification so let's call this function on on display notification so let's check if it is working or not let me do this and send a notification or postman rejection ID ok so I am receiving an error like unhandled invalid notification not a small icon ok ok so I don't have any icon right now so let's just comment out this thing now save it and run this again now what's okay so as you can see that my notification is coming so this is the local notification that i'm showing so what you have to do that you can uh, you have to pass your data inside this function and then you can replace this data with your data so you can have your local notification so uh, please explore this notify library more so you can uh, manage how to show the icons and channel id etc and uh, i will make a detailed video on this also but you also explore this so for those guys this is it for today this video so if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section and uh, uh, if you are new to my channel please subscribe and if you like my video then like it share it and i will see you guys in the next video so till then take care bye bye